Hi everyone, welcome to the Baggin Investor channel for a new tutorial. This is the sequel from the first video where I'm going to show you how I build a RSI trend following screener. Again, to clarify things, this is not the general RSI screener. This is a screener for trend following, which means you want to catch trends and follow them as long as they are trending, as you could say. So in the last video, we saw that the RSI is above 50 when the trend is beautiful with low volatility. You can see that right there, that the RSI is staying above 50 on Amazon. And I'm going to show you a counter example on that stock. The asset is not important. It's just the chart that you should take a look. You can see that right there, this is choppy, boring, uh, horrible market. And the, your RSI is the same. It's trending. Well, it's not trending. It's around the 50 level ranging showing that there is as much green candles as there are red candles. What we want, we want to find assets that are in trends like that, you know, that are steady above the 50. But we don't want assets that are what we call overextended, that say that there is at the end of the exponential uh, uh, rise, you know. So what we want as a criteria for a screener is we want things that are above 45 below 80 right this is as really as simple as that so you're gonna go we're gonna do it for crypto but you could do it for any other asset that you want forex i don't know interest rates uh crypto stocks bonds anything that you want technical analysis works on everything. So you're going to go to cryptocurrency. So you go to the bottom left of your computer and you open the crypto screener. Then you will go to the overview is not important. The overview here is to change what's displayed in your list. We're going to go to the filters because if you want to screen, you need to have filters. So you're going to screen for RSI. So that displays you the, RS, the relative strength index. You have the 14 and the seven. I usually use the 14 or the 21, but the 21 is not available. So just going to use the 14 like everyone does. And you're going to check this little uh, arrow here and it's going to open that and you have you get to choose what you want. So you're going to tell the computer, I want the relative strength index 14 on my asset to be X. So what do you want? As I said, we want that to be between. So you're going to check the between and it shows it's no it doesn't show one value it shows two value it, you can check I want to be between A and B so our A factor for bullish trends remember for bullish trends the RSI is trending above the neutral zone so it's trending above the 45 region so we want to check 45 here all right hope we're clear and to limit our screening we don't want things that are overextended things that are going completely mad, you know, like speculative bubbles that makes the price go up 20% every day. We don't want that. We want to keep the things that are close to consolidating or are in the consolidation. So we're going to check 80. This is completely arbitrary. You could try to test it and see if you see too much things that are overextended. You might reduce the number. If you see not as not the things that you want, you could make the number high enough. The point of removing all the things that have uh, RSI above 80 is to remove all the things that is going up like crazy because we are more trying to spot consolidation than you are trying to spot prices going up like crazy because you want to position yourself. To clarify yourself, if you are trying to position yourself on an asset, you are trying to position yourself during a consolidation as you can see up there on my chart. You're not going to position yourself when it's going up straight in a line. The risk to reward is not the best. So we have our screen, our RSI screen up. You can do something else is you can add around there. Click on the little dots column setup. Click here and you are going to search for RSI or I'm going to type relative strength index relative. Sorry. And you're going to click the relative strength index 14 that's going to display the relative strength index 14 right there and you can drag it to the left Whoop, there you go so you can see in your list how's the rsi 
if you're familiar with cryptocurrencies, you know that there are many, many, many pairs. You know, there are the BTC pairs, the ETH pairs, there's the perpetual futures and all that stuff. So there we have 3016 pairs. So we're going to check because we want only the, I don't know in which currency you're trading, but usually people either trade the BTC pairs or the USDT pairs. I'm going to stick to the basics and going to trade the USDT pairs. So in the search bar, you, in order to filter the USDT pairs, you're going to type in USDT and it's going to reduce significantly the matches. And you can see we have now 700. So that reduces quite substantially the matches. But there we have all the, you see, you can see the one inch pair is displayed, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. Why? It's because training view and lists every pair on every exchange. How do you do? How do you get rid of that? You're gonna go to the filters again. Gonna go to exchange, and you're gonna type in the exchange you're trading. So let's say I suppose most of you are trading on Binance. So I'm gonna type in Binance. That's valid, and you can see we are reduced to 168. So we came from 1,800 to 160. Isn't that isn't that better, right? The only downside with Binance is there are still the USDT perp. So yeah, you still have the future contracts in your screener if you're not trading, the, if you're trading the spot. I don't know if you, if you guys know the difference between spot and futures. I'm not going to go into that. Otherwise, the video is going to be too long. Let's stick to our, what we are here for. So now you uh, have in your screener all the assets that have an RSI between 45 and 80. And now what you can do and you, s you scroll through your list and you're going to find the assets that have an RSI. And you can see that this currency ADA has an RSI inside the neutral zone at 47. Remember what I said in the previous videos? When the RSI is in neutral zone, it means there are as much green candles that there are red candles. And that means consolidation. Consolidation means check the trend. And if the trend you like it, you can position yourself and take a trade if there is a breakout or there is a move or I don't know your trading strategy but you know what I mean this is the point of screening the market is that it reduces as much as possible the conditions for you to take a trade and I'm doing this video on how to make the RSI for people who are beginners at screening the market but of course my screeners compile different kinds of indicators but for this video we're not only talking about RSI and I hope this is going to be useful if you want to change the time frame because now we're screening as you can see there on the daily time frame but it's possible if you're in, I don't know if maybe you're an investor and you are investing long term in crypto with technical analysis you're gonna set your thing to monthly and then you're gonna have only the assets on the monthly chart and you're gonna check the monthly on if you on some assets for example I got ARPA I don't know how the charts looking sorry for my computer being a little bit laggy I'm gonna change computer sooner so you know, you have ARPA turning back into the neutral zone and you could be like, yeah, should I buy that or not? And this way you're going to scroll through all the assets that you, you you have on your screener and you can check if there are setups that you want to trade. That's it for the screening video. You, It's just it's just really that simple, guys. But I'm going to go step by step for, on my screening tutorials to for people to really try to build their own screener. I don't want, you know, to provide raw information and to then sell things to people i want people to learn how to create their own stuff that will help them build their own strategy on screener on indicator and all that kind of stuff so hope this helps if it helped you you can subscribe to the channel and leave a big like that would support me very much i would like it and <clears throat> you can also join the discord server on the description there is a link to, for you to join the discord server uh this is uh, Discord where I post technical analysis, I answer the questions the viewer have uh, and in the future I will create channels about screeners so we can build a community of people trying to screen the crypto markets. Uh, I'm publishing my trading journal every single week in the Discord. I'm, I show all my trades, all my account valuations, all the numbers are here. So if you're curious, you can go and check my trades to see if uh, you think that I'm a good trader or a bad trader. I would gladly take your comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the, the tutorial. Hope this helped. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them either in the comments on the Discord if you joined. Thank you so much for watching. 
See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.